Hi, this is Lisa from Low Cooking Rubber Stamp. Are you ready for some great tutorials? So today's tutorial, I'm going to show you some great tips and some stamping techniques. Of course, the endless uh, idea. Let's get started. Okay, so the material is so we are going to do a lot of blend, blending. We are going to use a Low Cooking Magic Mushroom. We have a lot of tutorial to show you how to use uh, those uh, wonderful Magic Mushroom. They blending so well. We're going to use a Versafine and we are going to have at least a white paint. If you don't have it, you can use uh, e either like even acrylic paint will do too. You can just buy a little jar, 99 cents, just a white color or watercolor. Uh, watercolor paint will do. We are going to use a uh, die cut ink pad. Those magic mushrooms work well with die cut ink pad, die base ink pad. Don't try to use uh, alcohol ink because they are going to keep the color there permanently. And the don't use uh, um, a pigment ink because the pigment ink is kind of milky, they kind of deposit on your your uh, your magic mushroom. So you if you use uh, pigment ink, make sure you clean it after you use it. Just uh, got to keep those uh, mushrooms in the good shape. And uh, we are going to use this silence background and just one background stamp and then you can add anything you like. And today's tutorial, I'm going to show you three different kinds of backing and then uh, we're going to try something different. We are actually, we are going to use a color car stock as our foundation car. It's very interesting. That's a started. So I switched my ink pack from Marvy to Memento a while ago and my friend Robert Necker, they come out with a brand new um, color fuse ink pack. They have a 48 color and they are small mini size. So if you want to think, if you think about to invest a, a set of a colorful ink pack, this is a great choice and easy to travel. So 48 ink pack, you can just pack, pack in half size of the shoe box and they, they are ready to go. And they have a lot of beautiful colors. So make sure you check their website and I think they have an awesome promotion now. And uh, we are going to use the... Uh, can you tell what's the foundation car scarf for this car? If I tell you it's a pink, would you believe me? So we are actually going to use this pink color as our foundation car. And then this is what it looks like. And I'm going to actually show you how to paint a perfect shooting star. And then, can you tell what color is this car? This car, the foundation car, is actually a blue. So I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful um, late um, nighttime um, moon um, finish. And then we are going to work on this one, half daytime, half nighttime. And I'm going to show you how to use a circle punch to create the, the cloud shape. And this one, I actually even add the lights on. Can you see the lights on? Oh, it's too bright. You cannot see. Actually, I have been working on a lot of a tutorial. It's going to keep you very busy. So just make sure you subscribe our channel. You don't want to miss it. Okay, so we are actually using this bright pink color. And uh, we are going to use two colors only. So these uh, two colors are from this pack. And I just use the third and the fourth color. And then they have a name. I have no idea how they come out with all 48 names. And then you're going to use a black. So most of the time, I just like to make an eight, um, A4 size car because the one letter size, you can make a two. And the, I think it's easy to find the envelope too. And then we are going to use this 3.75 by five inches and uh, just with a layering. Okay, so we are going to start to blending the color. Those are the magic uh, mushroom and uh, you can see the color is actually pretty, pretty, pretty dirty. But uh, they won't, um, they won't in disturb the performance. You can still see that's use yellow as yellow. The tools you got to use, right? You don't want your tool is brand new. That means you never use it. And then we are going to only use two magical mushroom, um, blue and the black. And then please watch our other tutorial to show you how to taking care of this uh, um, magic mushroom. This is what I do when I choose the color. I usually testing my color first. I found out this is the three color that I need, and uh, so just have it ready. And then um, these magic mushroom they are 
awesome blending tool because just with the one magic mushroom, you can actually create the background like this. Well, I add a little bit black in the back. I mean the blue tone. We just use one blue magic mushroom and then we can create something like that. Okay, so you're gonna start with the light color first. I usually um, kind of open my lid because they have this kind of click style. So I open, I'm usually open it and I keep my sticky there, uh, stickers there to try to hold the cover. And then um, rubbing is always the best way to ink your um, magic mushroom. And uh, okay, so I was trying to use the purple, but uh, the impact is awesome and the, mar the magic marshal is even better because uh, when you use blue and the pink and the blending together, they actually create a purple color. Okay, so this technique, you got to be very careful. So what I do is uh, I will have a, a sheet, uh, um, just a scrap paper. Okay, just to prevent me, don't get a fingerprint. I haven't even started yet and I already get a fingerprint. I hate that. So just like this. Okay, so you are going to have a, a wet cloth handy and a Kleenex or dry towel ready there. So you brush your ink pack and I'm going to just show you when you just gent, like you push hard, it become like a darker. When you release a little bit pressure, it actually become lighter. So you actually can control the color you want. Okay, you can tapping, you can rubbing, any way you like. And we're gonna use a, a, a quarter uh, pink color. So we're going to just start from the um, middle of that. And then you, you have to feel it. You push harder and then release a little bit pressure and then go deeping more. Okay, and then you kind of need to build out that beautiful blue. Okay, so and then just uh, keep uh, coloring. Okay, so just make sure you use the, a light blue first and then kind of circling your um, magic mushroom and then kind of rubbing on top okay so i'm going to leave that much the pink okay you want that pink show okay and then you can see they are not completely covered right that's why we got to build out that color and then you go back dipping brushing anything you like you know we are going to again and this time i'm going to try to start from outside try to from outside and the bring in okay dipping So those are uh, magic mushroom is very soft and then it really help you to blend in the color. Okay. So that's my second layer. It looks pretty good too, right? Now I'm going to use uh, my darker color. So from light to the dark, you don't have to worry about cleaning your magic mushroom. Um, you can just uh, directly dip into the dark color. They will not uh, um, contaminate the color. But if you want to use a darker color back to the lighter color, you got to clean your uh, magic mushroom before you use the light color. So we're going to start from outside, kind of bring to the center. Okay, always got to go back to dipping, dipping um, the new color to re re ink your magic mushroom. Okay, okay, and then kind of okay, kind of from outside in. Okay, you want to have a very very soft. Okay, again, use a, a scrap paper holding your paper that way they don't get dirty. Okay, and then now we are going to add black. So you just use your black magic mushroom, rubbing it. Okay, you can tap in. You can rubbing any way you like. I wish you can feel the texture because when you're blending it, they really blending well. You don't see the stroke. 
if you find out the color is too dark, kind of just release a little bit pressure. Okay, very important, try to keep your hand clean by holding a scrap paper there. Okay, on the one third of this cardstock, we are going to add a more black. That's what it look like. Okay, the right side is more like a navy blue, and the right side is more ultramarine. So, if you want to have a more navy blue, we can add a little bit navy blue too. Let's find the, this one, the other one. This is the color. Okay, let's see is this a navy blue or not. So, just rub some color. Yeah, this is kind of navy blue. So we kind of just, uh, you can just uh, ro like uh, rubbing the color directly on top. Once when you get hands on this uh, magic mushroom, you will feel, you know, when you're blending, they won't show you the stroke. Ah, fingerprint, damn it. Oops, sorry. Okay, we're gonna just uh, fix it, put uh, something on top. Ugh. Okay. Okay, and next, I am going to show you how to do the this crescent moon and the shooting star. In the tutorial number 117, I was showing you how to do a perfect um, star. So, um, this is pretty much the same technique. So, we're going to use this uh, Copic uh, Aqua White. It's just a white paint. You can use uh, watercolor paint. They will work too. And then this jar I had that for a long time. It lasts for a long time almost for 10 years and they are still have a lot. Okay, so kind of just mixing your paint. Okay, and then you are going to need the other brush and then I'm going to only working on this corner. So I kind of just tapping that corner. Okay, and that's what it look like. Is that pretty? And then we are going to find a nice brush, okay. A fine brush and then you are going to have a napkin ready so we're going to use this fine brush we don't need too much just need a little bit I'm going to zoom in this here okay and then you're going to just uh, drawing a little dots there like that just a little bit bigger than the other stuff and then you're going to use the Kleenex to dry your brush, okay? And then you're going to kind of just uh, do one stroke from the inside out, like this. That's it, that's my shooting star. Just one stroke in the one direction. Let's have one more, okay? So just do a little dot here. The trick is you got to dry your brush, make your brush a very point in one direction. Okay, one direction, one direction. That's my shooting star. Okay, and then we are going to add this croissant mousse. It's so easy. You are going to have a circle punch and this is a circle, oh, the die cut. This is a 7A, so you just uh, punch your circle, right? So that's going to be the full moon. But if I want to do the croissant moon, what I'm going to do is you just use the one you already punch and you kind of find the, how wide you need, a narrow one or wide one, and then punch one more time. That's a perfect croissant moon, and they just glue it. Well, actually, I am going to stamping my tree first before I put my croissant moon because maybe I accidentally stamping on the moon. It's okay too, but uh, I think we better do the tree. And then we are using our silent background. I'm going to use only a quarter. If you have a stamp positioner, it's a good idea to use a stamp positioner. If you don't have it, 
um, just make sure you ink your stem enough. And uh, for the black color, I usually use the VersaFine because they are very rich impact and make sure I completely um, patting my background stamp and then I am going to just find a corner here I am going to I'm going to try to hide this boo boo here so I'm going to just stamping a little bit on the left okay even nice firm press that's a beautiful car even without the moon Is that pretty? And can you believe my foundation color is actually pink? And I just found out you use a pink, the color is more rich than you use a white. And why not? You must have a lot of uh, pink color cards that I, you never use. And when the blue mix with pink, when they blending, they actually build out with a purple. And then this card, you only use a three color, two blue and one black, and see how pretty it is. Let's move on to the next card. Okay, and next we're going to move in um, to this to make this card. And you can can you believe it? This card is actually foundation color. Is the yellow and the blue. You can use white too, but I just find out the white color is just not that rich enough. So the yellow moon with the blue background, yellow and blue color, they are perfect. So what we're going to do is uh, first of all we are going to um find the uh, die cut. This is a two inches wide die cut. And then we kind of just play around, make sure where you want your moon. So I want the around here. And then you're going to just tape it. And then you can actually um, die cut two sheet together because they are very thin. Okay, and then this is what we get. So we're going to keep the yellow circle, something like this. Okay, and then we're going to be working on the yellow first. So I have at least two color, one um, kind of orange, one kind of like a red. We're going to use our yellow magic marshal. Always testing first. See, uh, every time when you try to brush some color on your scrap paper, if there is no color, that means your machine is clean and ready to go. If your machine shows some color, you want to work on the light color, you got to clean your magic mushroom before you apply the light color. Okay, so that's testing. Okay, that's good color. And then we kind of just uh, kind of rubbing the color on top. And again, be careful for the fingerprint. So I kind of just uh, go around it. Okay, rub the color. And then I kind of like uh, rotate the moon. You kind of just circle around. You want to leave some white color in the middle. Okay, rubbing the color. Okay, something like this. Make look like a, a egg yolk. Okay, and then because those sponges, they are just perfect for blending, you can get a darker color. At the same time, they also create a lighter color. Okay, just try to make as soft as you, as you can. Okay, so that's my orange and now I'm going to working on the red and then again see um, because we use red color so it's, even though my magic mushroom is not as clean as a, like a no color we can still do it and then I am going to just be careful with the fingerprint and then kind of brush some red color on top okay Gently rub, rub, and then you find the no color. You can just dip in a little bit color. If you accidentally put too much color like that, right? Don't worry. You just use your mushroom, kind of circling around. That will help then to blending it. Isn't that pretty? If you are really picky, cannot accept any stroke, just uh, put a little bit color. If you want more, you can even add a little bit brown. That's just leave like that. If not enough, we just add more. Isn't that nice? Okay, now we are going to working on the blue part. And the blue part is pretty much similar like the last card I just showed you. So I am going to just use these two color with a little bit black. And I'm going to just fast forward. Is that okay with you?
Okay, and now I am going to, you know, pick up my yellow moon, put it back. It's like a piece of puzzle, like right, like this, right? So if you want to more red, you can do that. But be careful, make sure your finger cleans before you handle that yellow color because the color is so light, it's so easy to pick up the color. And then you just use the regular tape, tape that moon. Just like this. Isn't that pretty? And then we are going to just stamp in that silence background. Okay, that's the second project and you can put whatever in front of that, anything you like. So, isn't that awesome? Let's move on to our next project. Okay, for the next project, I am going to do half daytime, half nighttime, and then I am I'm going or I'm going to just fast forward for the background, and then but in this tutorial, I am actually going to show you how to make a cloud template with the circle punch. So, and I forgot to mention this car I was using watercolor cardstock because I found the watercolor cardstock they just absorb ink better if you want to use like a white color. But uh, I tried the Cougar. Cougar car star is actually work well too. So I, uh, for the previous two tutorial, I was uh, use a uh, Cougar uh, 100 pounds uh, car star from Marcos paper, or you can find it from Marcos paper or paper cut. They are U.S. company, so I think uh, their shipment uh, shipping must uh, it must be cheaper. So if you're looking for good car stock, try to use a Cougar car stock, and they have a hundred pound. 80 pound and uh, even they have a 120 pound. So it's a good smooth foundation car start to do the blending. So also what you can do is you can combine our previous tutorial, the one with the um, pink one, blue one, you can do, you can just do like the foundation car and the cut in the half and just combine them together. That's also an idea too, anything you like. But in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make your cloud template. So I am going to just fast forward. Just one is with uh, um, kind of yellow orange and the other one is like a blue, light blue, dark blue. Okay, so before I fast forward, is some great tips I like to share with you. So this is the four uh, four by five point twenty five, the the size the the size of the car stock. So I'm going to I just mark two dots in the middle of this car stock, and then I am going to. You can just uh, you know take it in the masking the other side the one you don't want to use it but i just find out sometimes those tape they are just too sticky and i have a hard time to remove it after um i want to switch to the other side so what i do is uh, i use a masking tape and then i just uh, tape the back and then so that way this car style is going to stay on my um my scrap paper and then I have this acetate. So I'm using this acetate as my masking. So that way I can see. And then I'm going to just use uh, masking tape, tape on the top and on the bottom. And then now I can do my blending. Okay, so I'm going to use my yellow mushroom and I always clean after I use it because you never know next time I'm going to use the light color, right? So three color, yellow, orange, and the red. And here are the color. So you don't have to use exactly the same, just find some colors similar like that. That will do the job. Okay, so that's how I use this piece of acetate as a divider to color my right, um, the orange side and the blue side. And then we are going to working on the, the cloud 
part. In my pre previous, tuto previous tutorial, I was showing too many great tips how to make a template that you can use again and again. And today I'm going to show you how to make your own mm, cloud template with a circle punch. If you have some cloud die cut, like this one, awesome, you can use it, but not that everybody have it, right? So what I do is I just use a piece of regular cardstock and I just tape it with a packing tape. So, and then I use a die cut to die cut it. So once when I do that, I create this guiding window because this packing tape, it prevent my craft paper get dirty so every time after I apply the color I just wipe up with a wet cloth so my guiding uh, my template is always new and this is just the one I cut the two different kind of pattern and then you can just rotate it but if you don't have uh, this cloud die cut you really want to make a cloud what are you going to do? This is what I do. I use a piece of regular cardstock and then I just use a circle punch. You can use a circle punch and then you just cut a few circles and then you glue it. So that way you create your own cloud. They work just fine. I can show you. So we are going to just uh, find a place. You can rotate your, your, uh, your, you want to use the size and cover with a packing tape. That way they don't get dirty. You can just, uh, you know, change the direction of your, your template and then they will change. So we're going to use just a darker color. You have to be careful. We don't want it too dark. And then I'm just do this corner. Okay. See? That's how I create the cloud. And then when you just gently kind of brush it. Okay. One direction. That create that cloud too. So if you have a few different um, circle punch, like the bigger one, small one, this is what you can do. You can use a punch just kind of you know, do that way. That's a, like a negative of a cloud. You can do that too. You just have to, you know, play around, rotate it, find the shape you want. So that's uh, your homemade uh, cloud template. And after you use it, you can kind of just uh, wipe off and then ready to use again. And they have a more, I'm gonna show you how you're gonna use a white paint to apply more. So I'm going to work in on my, the other side of the uh, sky. Okay, let's see what it look like. So, how do you think? Is that pretty? Okay, now we are going to add a little bit white color. So it's same thing, you can still use your masking tape in the back. Kind of just hold that one in case when we do the blending, we don't really want to um, that move. So that's, we can do just the one together or anything you like. So let's just uh, do this way. So I have one extra magic mushroom and then um, I am going to use a white color. If you don't, um, because usually I tell people don't use, uh, you know what? Let's don't use it because it's not fair because you don't have one extra mushroom. What are you going to do? We are going to use a paintbrush. So I am going to use uh, this uh, paintbrush. Okay, I'm going to dip in some color. Okay, not too wet. Okay, you have to got to be very careful. You cannot get too wet because it's too wet. It's going to run under your template. It's going to be very ugly. And then the trick is you are going to kind of almost dry your your um, brush, and then we can just uh, kind of do a little bit drawing, okay? And then remove your template. And then again, we are going to use a kind of dry brush, kind of painting that cloud. Okay, one direction. Kind of just uh, add that white color. Okay. 
Okay, now is a good time to show you because I did that and I don't like it. But I, and I'm really lazy. I don't want to do again. So I'm going to fix my boo boo. It's a good idea to fix your boo boo. So this is how I am going to use my um, acrylic sheet. I am going to protect my the other half. I'm going to, you know, the cloud I just did with the template, I don't like it. So I am going to use a darker color. I'm going to, you know, cover that part. Okay, make my sky a little bit darker. It's okay to make a mistake, right? You learn from your mistake. Like, I don't like this. I am not going to use it. I'm going to just fix it. Okay, and then I'm going to use uh, this one. So you just uh, cover the boo-boo, the place you don't like it. Nobody even, nobody even going to find it, so... And then we are going to do something. So boo boo is okay. Now I fix my boo boo. Okay. Um, so now what are we going to do with that cloud? We are going to just paint it. Okay. So after you remove your acetate, you make sure you clean your acetate. Okay. For next time to use. And then now I can remove my tape. I don't need it anymore. Okay, so we are going to paint the cloud. We are going to just use uh, this white again. The trick is always have a napkin handy. Okay, just uh, pick a little bit color. Remember the last two cards, the one the shooting star. So we just find the uh, you know the cloud shape, and then we're going to just uh, draw the line. Just. Uh, Add a little bit highlight. Your stroke, if it's uh, kind of dry, okay, not completely dry. Just make sure not too much uh, water, so that way you can painting better cloud. So we kind of just add a, a little bit highlight. And then kind of use your brush to blending it. Just give a little bit touch up. Until next time I find a better way to painting the cloud, I'm going to show you. Okay, so now I just find that we just use a paintbrush, kind of give it a little bit highlighted. I think that's pretty. And then we are going to do our tree. Ta-da! Okay, so on the left side, I use a watercolor cardstock. On the right side, I use a Cougar 100 pound. They actually, I found out the Cougar 100 pound, they actually blending very well. So maybe later on, I'm gonna to switch to use a Cougar instead of watercolor. Okay, here is the other great tips for you. I, um, why I didn't stamp first and do the blending? For this silence background, there's too many different kind of combination. You can do the A2 size, you can just stem two times, do the moon, do half this way, half that way, you can do that. Or you can put your tree in the middle on the side, and then, or you can large use a larger one. The reason I didn't stem first, because I found out Versa Fine is very rich um, impact. And then even though I leave them overnight, when I um, rubbing apply the color with magic mushroom, sometimes they still smear a little bit. And then also, if you stamp the black color first and then you do the color later, they kind of cover that black. So your black is not going to, that tree is not going to pop out. So it's better that you do your foundation color first and then you do your black. But be very careful because you spend a lot of time working on your foundation color. If you don't have like a stamp positioner, you probably missing 
the the tree and then that's really painful because it's spending time to the background so it's a good idea to use your background otherwise you got to make sure put the even pressure make sure that you can get a nice image so that's it um that's it so that's a three uh, different kinds of background one with a pink color that look like leaves one is a blue and a yellow that look like leaves and one is a white foundation color and look like that and then later on you can add a little little models like a little owl anything and uh, these the foam boots so this was uh, my original design and let's see if you can see Actually, there is a light. You cannot turn on. It, it doesn't show. It's too bright, but that's okay. So most of the time, I was doing the A2 size car, and then but the next few tutorial, I'm going to show you something very unique, something actually 3D, and something is a a large size car. That's give you some preview. Preview. Okay, are you ready? Okay. So first, I am going to show you how to use the step car to create this large size car. Isn't that awesome? This is done just with one background stem and one stem set. And then um, for the foundation car, this is a large main car. You don't even have to have a like big die cut machine. You don't even need a die cut machine. But this uh, beach chair, I use a die cut machine. So I'm going to show you how to make this car. And then with the same die cut, the step die, I am going to show you how to make a list car. You can actually send it, just use a large envelope. And this one is actually the light. Isn't that awesome? And then, but the the I already finished my wiring, so I actually changed my switch to, to the phone boots. When you close the door, the lights going to going to go to turn on. So you can use uh, today's tutorial to do your main car. This car and this car they are done by the same step die cut. The step die cut you can come up with a two different kind of pattern and they are huge car. They are large car. And then um, you can decide you want to add the light on or not just by the car like that is very pretty. I really enjoy it. You can see I have a lot of free time because uh, I have a lot of tutorial. I probably let's take a look. I probably have uh, let's see. See? A lot of stuff and I use this uh, bookmark that we made for previous tutorial. I have uh, actually nine tutorial are coming. So make sure you subscribe our channel and make sure you click that little bell so that way when we have a new tutorial you will get an email and you don't want to miss it. There is a one more project I think uh, if you have a kids at home you want to keep them busy that will be a good project to start too. awesome and then I will provide all the information this one actually have a remove control I am planning to make a big one with probably 10 20 butterfly in the jar and this one actually have a remove control you can actually change the color of that little candle there so you can actually turn it on turn it off and I think this is going to be an awesome product. You can make a few, even like in the holiday or Christmas time. Christmas is still far away. Um, or, you know, summer, you know, summer barbecue, whatever. You can make few and it's pretty safe to put on top of your dining table. And that's so pretty. So that's going to be our future product, uh, future tutorial. I have a lot of tutorial. They are in the process of making it. And I'm going to upload um, then to the YouTube to or online DVD library soon. And uh, we are going to have a promotion coming soon. Uh, make sure you subscribe our YouTube channel 
or like us on the Facebook. On the Facebook is better because I post uh, things on Facebook often. You can get a newer uh, information and also you can get a pre 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 preview of the new tutorial. And this one I put it right in front of my studio and then I turn it down. It just makes me happy when I uh, working on my craft. I just take a look and they have a light get um, on and off. That's pretty. That's so pretty. Okay, so that's today's tutorial. I hope you like it and leave us any comment review. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. This is Lisa from Local King Rubber Stamp. See you next time.